Listen up, crazy Christian. Let us zoom in this one here. And this is why the title of my video is exactly what he said. Listen up, crazy Christians. He will explain to you why you're crazy. And you better take it before you leave it. So, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Alexa, Aka Abud, he said, Quran chapter 354, talk about the life of Jesus. Uh -huh. It actually talk about the time when Jesus uh, Christ was about to depart from this world. And he asked one of his uh, companions who want to take his place of the crucifixion. I mean, listen to you. You are not only genius, you prove to us that the Christians are crazy. So now Jesus, the Muslim, Isa, he want to depart. Hello, guys, I have to leave. Now, listen, we cannot leave like this. We have to put somebody in the cross, and he have to look like me. Now, you need to tell me who of you like to be me in the cross. So they will put nails in his hands and his feet, and they will kill him. Who of you? Who? Hmm? You? Oh, not you. Maybe you? Not you, too. Yeah. I mean, this is a very, um, this is a true story. That's it. It's explained. I mean, it's time for him to depart. He have no time for the cross. I mean, the, the airplane is, is going to be late, man. I mean, they came in the last five minutes. He need to depart. And now uh, he's uh, like, hello. Uh, okay, uh, uh, he said to the soldiers, okay, can they put somebody like me in the cross, please? Because I have to depart, you know, like I did not, the spaceship will not wait for me. <laughs> true story and you are the one calling us crazy look what you just said you just told us that Isa the Muslim is a coward he's a coward because the one who want to run away and asking people to die instead of him he obviously a coward imagine imagine you are watching a movie and then the hero in this movie he says hey guys who will die for me so I can run Run, run, run away, run, run, must no, 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 run, run. I mean, this is a very touching story. Same time, this person, brother, he took the look of Jesus. If, 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 if. So not only a person, he took the place of Jesus, he looked like Jesus now. So now we have two Jesus. We have Jesus number one, and we have Jesus number two. And both of them look the same, brother. So in the same moment, in the earth, we have two Jesus. Brother, this is a true story, brother. It's not a crazy story. In a second, the guy who said, it's me, I will take your place, he looked like Jesus. And actually, this is very true. Once, you know, the police, he came to give me a ticket. I put my hand off the window. I said, hey guys, I have a friend who they are driving their cars too. I said, who want to take my place and take the ticket? And then the brother, the other guy, he got the same name as mine and the same ugly face as I have. And he got the same ID exactly. So the police, he gave him the ticket to brother because I have to depart. And you Muslims, you talk about crazy. Who in the world would believe in such a stupid story? And isn't it you Muslim who say that, why Jesus would die for you? What? You Muslim, you say, why Jesus will die for you? Isn't you Muslim, you say, this is not, this is not right. He should, everyone should die for his own sin. Everybody should have to pay for his own sin. So why now, why the other guy now have to pay for Jesus a, a crime, which is a claiming to be a prophet as the Jews, they don't believe him according to Islam. It, the one who claimed to be the Messiah is Isa, right? Okay. He claimed to be a prophet according to Islam. Okay. The Jews want to kill him because of that. Okay. So why now somebody else have to die for him? Do you see how Islamic mythology is a double standard, a stupid you know, a cult? In one hand, they made fun of you saying, how you believe that Jesus died for your sin? This is not logical. Everyone should be paying for his own sin. And now you telling me that Jesus is asking people to die for him.
Number two, we remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said that in the judgment day, Allah will take the sin of the Muslims, which is equal to mountains, and he will place it on the Christians and the Jews. And here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity of this cult. One hand, they say that everybody should pay for his sin, but yet they believe in the judgment day, Allah will take all the sin of the Muhammadan, adultery, fornication, killing, raving, etc. Anyway, those are not the sin in Islam. Sin in Islam is like you being nice to the Christians, being good to them, you don't hate them, you take them as a friend. This is a big sin. This is what as the Quran says, chapter 5, verse 51, and the one who take them as a friend, or protector, he is one of them, which means a Muslim, if you take me as a friend or protector, he is one of us, he is out of Islam. This is a big, big, huge sin. Allah will not forgive him actually here. So here the story showing us the stupidity of the author of Islam. Because we see a huge difference between the character of Jesus the Christ, the real Jesus Christ, in Christianity and Islam. In Islam, he's a coward, he will run. In Islam, he want to run. In Christianity, he said to Peter, when Peter tried to defend him, the one who would live by the sword, die by the sword. He put the his store, he restored the ear of the, the soldier and he put it back and he went with them. He refused that Peter would defend him. He did not ask Peter to die for him. So here we see that Muhammad the thief, he stole the name of Christ. He fabricated stories about Christ. And those stories will fit with his propaganda and agenda. In the same time, you are saying to me something very fishy. That Jesus now, when he wanted to go to the, to, the, to the cross, he told one of his disciples, who want to die for me? Well, why Allah did not save Muhammad? Muhammad was killed by a Jewish woman. She put poison in his food. And your prophet, he confirmed that. So why your prophet did not say, who can take my stomach, so he will die instead of me? It's both, is death. What a difference between, you know, it's death. Why your prophet, Allah did not give him a solution, that another Muslim, he will take the food, and his stomach will eat it, not the stomach of Muhammad. You do not need to change all of Muhammad, just change the stomach, brother. Like Muhammad can ask Abu Bakr, hey Abu Bakr, what about we exchange the stomach? My stomach now is full of poison. Your stomach don't have poison. So Allah can put your stomach instead of my stomach in my stomach. If we ask Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, why Allah did not save Muhammad but he saved Jesus? Zakir Naik, for sure, he have an answer. He's a, he's a big sheikh. Even though he wear like a suit like the, the, the Christians, and the Jews, and he put a tie, uh, even though the jacket is three times bigger than him, and even though he's trying to grow a beard, but he never grow, and even though he used fertilizer, but regardless, he still have an answer. He will answer you right away. He will say, Quit the breath. First of all, Allah wanted to save Jesus, and he don't want to save Prophet Muhammad. Uh, Zakir, why he want to save Jesus, but not Muhammad? First of all, don't say Muhammad. Say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What? Say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What does that mean? Allah pray on him, not for him. Ah, oh, okay. Allah pray for him, not for him. Ah, oh, okay. And uh, so what does have to do with our topic? Why Allah did not save Muhammad from the poison, yet he wanted to save Jesus? Very simple reason. First of all, Allah he do as he with. Uh, he do as what? As he with. What with? With, with. Oh, you mean wish? Uh, okay, so Allah do he, okay, why he wish that? Why? This is the question. Why he wish to save, to save Jesus, but he does not wish to save Muhammad? First of all, this is very, very high quality question. And nobody answers him, Allah. Allah knows best. Uh, this is that, so the answer, Allah knows best. Exactly. Uh, all of Islam is based on Allah knows best. Exactly. So why you call yourself a sheikh if you know nothing and Allah is no best? Anyone can say that. Exactly. What do you mean exactly? Anyone can say that. So why you call yourself sheikh and you are on the stage if you have no answer? Why Allah want to save Isa, but he don't want to save Muhammad? Here we go, Muhammad, he died by poison. You know who died by poison usually? I don't think it. You are going to come for me. You are going to say to me, that rat, they die by poison. Mice, they die by poison. And Prophet Muhammad, they die by poison. 
that will not in the fact that the prophet Muhammad he died by poison, but he the prophet. Hey, hold on, I did not say rat and his, but you know remember your prophet he says the rat are Jews. I can show you the hadith. I know the hadith. And then number two, even if they got the 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 Bukhari. Uh, you quote the Hadith correctly, even the numbers are correctly. I could not understand the number from the numbers you quote, but who okay. cares? So listen, until now, you Muslim cannot ins you know, answer. Why in the world this crazy story? Jesus cannot go to the cross in Islam. What is the problem? Muhammad, he can die by poison. What's the problem? Why Allah want to save Isa, but he don't want to save Jesus? Oh, sorry. He don't want to save Muhammad. What is the problem? Your story is stupid. And have no base. And the funny, the one is telling us what happened to Isa is a person who came 600 years after Jesus, and yet he don't even know how to quote his name correctly. Who is Isa? Who is this guy, Isa? Is that Isa, the son of Maryam, the sister of Aaron? <laughs> So the Muhammadan, he want to teach you, brothers and sisters, listen, crazy Christians. But he is not saying crazy stuff. Absolutely not. Islam make, makes sense. And then, brother, he said, who want to take my place in the crucifixion? That is because the disbeliever among the children of Israel plan to arrest him. If, 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 if. They did. Okay. And crucify Jesus. So here we need we notice that Allah is the biggest cheater. So he replaced Jesus, he put someone else from his disciple in his place. It's like the same with the one who give you a fake dollar, you know. <laughs> so Allah planned, also planned. Eh? Allah so planned. <laughs> uh, brother, can't Allah save Jesus without making somebody look like him? I mean, obviously Jesus was not arrested anyway. Can't Allah take him to heaven when the Jews, they arrive to the door, brother? Do you think the door is the only place Allah can use? I get an idea. Can't Allah save him from the chimney of the kitchen? Jesus, he go in the roof. And then Allah, he will send Jibreel. And he will send with him Al-Burak. You know the Burak, the limousine of Allah, the donkey, which took Muhammad to the heaven. And the Jews cannot fly. Can they? And you are calling us crazy. So Allah also planned, and his plan is how to save Jesus Christ from being arrested and crucified. And now, babies, tomorrow I will tell you a new story about how Allah, he saved Jesus from the cross. He made someone look like him. Very beautiful story. Uh, brother, and the one who died in the cross, he looked like Jesus. He looked like Jesus exactly, brother, brother. Like this guy, his name is insane. Why? Why, Christian friends? Man, he scared the hell of me when he said it. I thought I'm watching a horror movie or something. Why? All right, all right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm convinced with your story. And then, brother, and Allah is T S O T. What is that, man? Look, the S is big, the W is small, the T is big again. Oof, 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 oof. Is that like a code, brother? What this is Allah S W T? Short wave, short wave transgender. What is that? I'm not sure. What is that? Short wave uh, transportation. Short wave. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm co I'm confused. Please, if you can explain to us. And then he got he given the image of Jesus to someone else. If 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 mean that's deep. That's that's a true story. I mean, look, listen up, crazy Christians. This guy is fed up with you, you idiot. He has given you now that the truth, the tr 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 Okay, and then he gave the image of Christ to someone, and then Allah is a w s a w t again, again. I mean, are we stuck with this? Each time you will say Allah, you add s w t. One is big, one is small, one is big. 
May Allah SWT you. <laughs> and then Allah, he left Jesus Christ because he also have heard the wicked plans of the disbelievers. <laughs> man, man, man. Man. All of this happened to Isa so he would not go to the cross and the poor prophet of Islam, he died by poison and he was suffering for many years and he said to his wife, <coughs> ah, Isha, hey prophet, why you are smoking? <laughs> I don't smoke, you idiot. It's the poison. It cut off my throat. I cannot even talk. <coughs> okay. Aisha, I feel... See, you, you people, you say Muhammad have no feeling. He has feeling. What's wrong with you? He is a human, obviously. He's not a beast. Look, look. He said, he, I can prove it. I feel. Do you see it? There's a song. It's called, I feel. All the stars and the bars make me drown. I feel. All the poison in my orta. Playing games. So, I feel. I feel as if my order is being cut from that poison. Where was Allah? You know what? Allah do not need to replace all of Muhammad. I mean to put someone else. What about replace only his stomach?